Shalom. The New York Times again today is distorts history, always bending over backwards to, to uh, try and distance Israel from the land of Israel. So here's the example. What happened was that the Jews have had a prayer for Jerusalem since the beginning when David established it as a capital of the Jewish people 3,000 years ago. It's mentioned in the Hebrew Bible almost 700 times. Again, not once in the Quran. We pray for restoration to Jerusalem every time we pray, three times a day. It's in our grace after meals. Uh, Israel has been, the, the whole story of the Old Testament is a Zionist document of trying to restore Israel to the land of Israel and then to get them there and, and then keep them there. And the, the, uh, the old city of Jerusalem is the uh, ancient capital of the Jewish people. So the Jews had synagogues in there. And in 1967, when Israel was fighting for its, uh, 1948, I'm sorry, when Israel was fighting for its independence, Jordan conquered the old city. Now Jordan's a made-up country too. And what right did Jordan have to the old city of Jerusalem? But they conquered it. And Israel was denied access to its holy places for from thousands of years. And what did the Jordanians do with the Jewish holy places? Well, they destroyed the synagogues, used them as horse stables, including the famous Chorva Synagogue. Well, the Chorva Synagogue has been restored. Israel, of course, got back its eternal capital in 1967, finally restored the Chorva Synagogue and dedicated it. So what does the New York Times do with this information? They, of course, slant the whole article to not say anything about thousands of years of Jewish connections to Jerusalem, nothing about how Jordan stole the land in, um, in 1948, uh, how Jews have always had it, Jews had a right to it, finally got it back in 1967, and been caretakers of the property, given the Muslims complete access to the Al-Aqsa Mosque and Dome of the Rock on top. Jews don't even have access to that. Jews simply wanted to pray at the Western Wall because they recognize the Muslims uh, have buildings up there that are holy to them. They have, they allow, they have Christians have complete sovereignty over the all the Christian holy sites in East Jerusalem. But of course, the New York Times ignores all of that and tries to, of course, slant it and make it look like Israel is doing something illegitimate by rededicating the ancient synagogue and the eternal capital of three thousand years of the Jewish people, something that's mentioned seven hundred times in the Bible. Of course, maybe the New York Times doesn't know anything about the Bible or read it. Another example of how they slant the news against Israel.